dear friends we are with the uh, next problem of gears that is problem number 7 the data of the problem is given like this <clears throat> the number of teeth on the gear and the pinion of two spur gears in mesh are 30 and 18 respectively means capital T that is the number of teeth on gear is equal to 30 and small t number of teeth on pinion are 18. Both the gears have a module of 6 mm means m is equal to 6 millimeter and pressure angle of 20 degree phi is equal to 20 degree. If the pinion rotates at 400 rpm means rotation speed np is equal to 400 rpm <clears throat> what will be the sliding velocity at the tip of the tooth of pinion has contact with the gear flank we have to find out sliding velocity at given condition take addendum equal to one module here it is given that addendum is equal to module is equal to 6 mm also find the maximum sliding velocity so we have to find out sliding velocity when it is maximum <coughs> we know that sliding velocity for given gear pair is given by sliding velocity is equal to omega p plus omega g into distance between point of contact and pitch point for the given condition in this case if the pinion rotates at 400 rpm what will be the sliding velocity at the tip of the tooth pinion tooth of pinion has contact with the gear flank it means that if we assume that the pinion is driver then the distance between p point of contact and pitch point will be nothing but the path of recess so we can write for this condition sliding velocity is equal to omega p plus omega g into that is path of recess now path of recess is given by given by under root of addendum radius of pinion square minus pitch radius of pinion square into cos square phi minus pitch radius of pinion into sin phi. For now, we need to find out the pitch radius and addendum radius of pinion. So, it is given that <coughs> module is equal to diameter divided by number of teeth. So, for pinion, it is m is equal to 6, diameter is to be calculated and t is given is equal to 18. So, we will having diameter is equal to 108 millimeter and hence pitch radius small r is equal to 54 millimeter and it gives us the addendum radius r a is equal to pitch radius plus addendum and that is equal to uh, 54 plus 6 is equal to 60 millimeter and 
similarly for gear m is equal to capital d by t implies 6 is equal to capital d sorry here capital t that is number of teeth of gears capital t divided by capital t is given is equal to 30 and hence the pitch circle diameter of gear capital d is equal to 180 millimeter and hence the pitch radius capital r of the gear is equal to 90 millimeter hence the addendum radius of gear capital R A is equal to pitch radius R plus addendum that gives us 90 plus 6 is equal to 96 millimeter. <coughs> now we need to calculate the path of recess. So from the data we can write and substituting the values in this equation of the path of recess, we find path of recess is equal to that is small r a square that is 60 square minus 54 square cos 20 degree square minus 54 of sin phi. And hence we found on calculation is equal to 13.54 millimeter. Now for calculation of this uh, sli uh, sliding velocity we also need to calculate omega p and omega g. So we know that speed is u rpm of gear divided by np of pinion is given by diameter of pinion divided by diameter of gear that gives us that rpm of gear ng is equal to np into d divided by capital d and speed of the pinion is given that is equal to 400 rpm into small d is equal to 108 divided by capital D is equal to 118 and on calculation we found is equal to 240 rpm. Now we can calculate omega p that is angular speed of pinion is equal to 2 pi n p divided by 60 and that is equal to 2 pi into np is equal to <coughs> 400 divided by 60 and that gives us 41.88 <coughs> radian per second and angular speed of gear omega g is equal to 2 pi and g divided by 60 that is equal to 2 pi into ng we have calculated is equal to 240 rpm divided by 60 and that gives us is equal to 25.13 radian per second so substituting this values in equation of sliding velocity so for given condition sliding velocity is equal to substituting values <coughs> in this equation omega p plus omega g into path of recess so that is gives us omega p is equal to 41.88 plus omega g is equal to 25.13 into path of recess is equal to 13.54 on calculation we found is equal to 
907.86 मिलीमीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड आउट स्लाइडिंग वेलोसिटी व्हेन इट इज मैक्सिमम तो स्लाइडिंग वेलोसिटी विल बी मैक्सिमम व्हेन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट एंड पिच पॉइंट विल बी मैक्सिमम सो फॉर दिस केस द डिस्टेंस विल बी मैक्सिमम व्हेन देर इज ए स्टार्ट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट means this distance is equal to the path of approach so <coughs> we have to write that is omega g plus omega p into path of approach now let us calculate path of approach that is path of approach is equal to under root of <coughs> pitch radius of gear sorry addendum radius of gear square minus pitch radius of gear square into cos square phi minus pitch radius of gear into sin phi substituting this non values we found is equal to that is 96 square minus 90 square cos square 20 degree minus 90 into sin 20 degree on calculation we found is equal to 14.64 mm so the max sliding velocity max is equal to substituting this values in this equation then omega g is equal to 25.13 plus omega p is equal to 41.88 into path of approach is equal to 14.64 on calculation we found is equal to 981 mm per second so this is our final answer thank you